Our very sunny and warm Wednesday continues. I'm Mark Peterson, the First Alert Weather Center here at 4 News Now. And again, the livestock is out, the flowers are in bloom, but everything's going to start to get dry. So make sure that you're doing what you need to do to uh, water and do it early in the morning, all right, not in the afternoon. Take a look at the four things you need to know. Back to back 90s today and tomorrow, sunshine all the time, no doubt about that. Clouds and cooler for Friday. Uh, we're going to see some gusty winds uh, in places too. And a bigger heat wave is coming. That's going to be next week. Over the next 12 hours, plenty of sunshine. We're going to have temperatures. Uh, our high today, 91. Probably see that 4 or 5 o'clock. Uh, and then you can see at 9, sunset. And it cools to 80. Uh, man, it's going to be warm. So we look at the satellite and radar. And, well, the radar is taking the day off. There's nothing to show. And we do have, again, with the satellite, just a little bit of high thin clouds. And that's all there is. Today, we're going to be in the low 90s. Going to be sunny and hot. Uh, triple digits into Tri-Cities, Lewiston. Um, Yakima, Wenatchee, and Omak in the upper 90s. Seattle is going to be sunny and 80. Take a look at tomorrow. Um, Seattle sunny and 79. Looking beautiful. We're going to be triple digits again. Tri-Cities, Lewiston. We're going to be about the same. Low 90s all over the region. And that's going to continue with the light winds. We will see a change. That's going to come in. As we look at our planning forecast, we're going to have 91 today, 92 tomorrow. Friday, uh, clouds, a little cooler air mass coming out of Canada could trigger some thunderstorm activity. About a 20% chance of that. And 86 for the high, which is average for this time of year for us. Saturday, 88, and then back into the low 90s, Sunday, Monday, mid to upper 90s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we could see triple digits in Spokane. So the heat is really going to be on all of next week through the uh, end of the month and into August. So we want you to be prepared for that. Um, yeah, just make sure that you have what you need. Change the filter in your HVAC system so that as you're pushing that cold air, it's doing it through a clean filter. And of course, open up your homes and apartments in the early morning hours, and then shut them up and close them down by mid-morning so that you hold on to some of that cool weather, cool air in your home. I'm Mark Peterson. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And be safe out there with the kids, the pets. You know the drill. Take it easy.